Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we are back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And y'all know I've been going crazy in the builder. So never mind me, man. I'm creating these builds and they're made for you to go out there and have fun with. Now, all my beginners, the people that are just starting to play NBA 2K, you have to go back to some of my old videos. And I may just create a playlist for the beginners on NBA 2K. But right now, we are in season three and I'm going crazy in the build. And this build right here is six foot three now with gold bullet. You get elite contact dunk, small contact dunk. You will be able to shoot. You will be able to get gold needle threaded. You will be able to play defense. Watch the video to the end, man. This build right here is crazy. So point guard, choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. So for this build, like I said, six foot three. And in order to get that gold bullet, you need an 89 strength on this build. So I had to take the weight all the way up to 222 pounds with a seven foot wingspan, built body shape. Let's get into the build. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the finishing. Now, I wanted this build to be a great finisher. So I took the driving dunk all the way up to a 94. And that 94 will allow us to get gold slithery, gold um, limitless takeoff, gold posterizer, and you know those three badges right there together is a perfect combination for any finisher out there for the driver layup we're going to get that up to at least an 80 you can take it up higher if you want to it's totally up to you uh but for me playing the game man silver uh fearless and silver fast twitch are really really good now if you want gold fast twitch go ahead and take your close i mean gold fearless go ahead and take the close shot up to an 84 or your drive and layup to an 87 and right now I just have that at 80 for the close shot we're going to get that to a 76 I have been playing with this combination on my six foot three build, and I do just fine. So I know you guys can go out there and do the same thing. Now for the standing dunk, normally I tell you guys to take it up to at least a 40, uh, 40 being the minimum, and you know that will allow you to get that standing dunk package. But for this build, we're gonna take it up to a 60, man. You can't get rise up, but you will be able to finish good at the rim. I have a six foot three build with a 40, and I know. I go crazy with the 40. I can only imagine what you would do with a 60, and that's what we have on this build. Now, for the post control, it's going to go up because we're going to take the strength up, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it up to a 29 right now. And as you can see, we do get 22 badges, right? Of course, we want um, limited takeoff on gold, slithery gold, post rise gold. That's 21. Keep in mind, you need 10 more badges, tier 1 to tier 2, just to get all three of those badges on gold. So that's 21. We'll need 10 over there, so that'll be 31. We have 22. We'll get a plus 7. That'll be 29. So we need about two more badges to add from the rebirth just to get everything that I'm going to call out. Limitless takeoff, slithery, posterizer, fast twitch, fearless. Those are the badges that I want you guys to use, and those badges will help you out. But notice I said two badges on tier 2. So you're going to have to add two more badges on tier 1 just to get what you need okay so let's go ahead and get into the green bean make your girl scream badge now if you are a person that can shoot you don't necessarily have to take your three-point shot to an 85 i took it to an 85 i want you to have some good shooting i wouldn't suggest this if you're not a good shooter okay me personally i'm a good shooter and i can make it work with having a low three-point shot but if you can't make it work with a low three-point shot please take your three-point shot up for the mid-range shot we're going to get that to a 70. free throw is a 73. For all the people out there that love free throw, man, we have a 73 on this bill. And we do get 18 green bean make your girl screen badges, which is not bad at all. And the main badge that I really like to use is Claymore. Claymore is a great badge to have no matter if you're the point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center. It does not matter. This is a great badge for everybody. Okay. Um, I would also use corner specialist. Um, you're the primary point guard, so you may not be in the paint a lot. I mean, you may not be uh, in the corner a lot, but you can add this bad to your build just in case somebody's a primary ball handler or on a fast break or something, you run to the corner, this bad still does activate. We would also go with amp, even though I'm starting to uh, not use the amp bads like talking about it because I don't really move a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, I do a lot of catch and shoot. I don't move and shoot and fade and all that stuff right there. So that badge is not that important for me, but it may be important for you. Um, I would also go with uh, catch and shoot. Great badge to have no matter the position. And, you know, you can come over here and get a tier 3 badge if you want to. That's totally up to you. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody named Mama can see this video. And I need everybody named Mama to see the video. So do that for yeah, boy, boy. Spiel bar, we're going to get that up to an 80. 
ball handle, we're going to get that up to at least an 85. An 86 will give you an extra bad, so if you want to go that route, go ahead. But we're going to get it to an 85 to get that goal quick first step. And the pass, has, pass accuracy, since we want to be the primary ball handler, we're going to get that up to an 86. So we can get that gold needle thread, as you guys can see. And it is tier 1. Okay, so that's really, really good to have needle thread at tier 1. That is only going to cost you 3 badge points, as you guys can see. We get 22, so I would use needle threader, ankle breaker, um, dimer, throw that in there. Vice grip. Quick first step, unpluggable, hyperdrive, clamp breaker, handle for days. I don't use bailout. You can use that bad if you want to. It's totally up to you. Um, but once you're able to call a tier three badge, you'll get a plus six. And keep in mind, if you hit level 40 this season, you will have the option to core two badges in one category. So if you were to use this build, man, that would be crazy. I have an inside out playmaker and I have two playmaking badges of court and my build is on another level right now because coring the two badges in one category will afford you extra badges to go out there and do what you need to do with it. But those are some of the badges I would use. You can mix and match your badges how you want to. It's your build, it's your grind, it's your time. So please go out there and try these badges out. See what works, see what don't work and go from there. But let's go ahead and get into the defense and the rebounding badge, right? Of course we want some interior, well not interior defense, I'm tripping. We're going to get some interior defense because we have the crazy strength on the build. So we're going to go ahead and go to the perimeter defense right now and get that up to 86. As you guys can see, we do get silver clamps on this build that will allow you to uh, slow people down on the perimeter. Uh, you have long arms on this build. You have that strength now. So don't get it twisted. This build is really, really strong. Some people will say the strength is overboard, but hey, man, I'm a content creator. I'm going to create builds a bunch of different ways, and that's just what it is, man. Overboard or not, man, it's still just a build. You don't have to do anything that I'm telling you guys to do. For the steel, we're going to get that up to an 85 because we do want silver interceptor and we want silver glove. As you guys can see, we do have it right there. So you will be able to get some on-ball steals with this build. For the block, we're going to max that out at a 68. And as you can see, the interior defense is starting to come up. Not saying you need uh, interior defense, but we're going to have some just because we have that strength on the build. So let's go ahead and take it up to a 49. That's what we're going to have when it's all said and done anyway. So uh, this is what we have for the defense. 20 badges, right? Some of you may be thinking that's not enough, but if you check this out, 6, 12, 18 right there, and we need 10 over here, so that will be 28. We got 20, we'll get a plus 6, so that will be 26, and we'll need two more badges to do what we need to do, okay? So I use these three badges. I would also use Chase Down Artist, uh, Pogo. Uh, I would use Box and, and Private Rebound Chase, so that's me. And maybe throw in Menace as well. But look at the combination, 22, 18, 22, and 20. Not bad at all. For the physical, we're going to get that speed to 85. We're going to get that acceleration to an 85 as well. Like I told you guys, 89 strength. As you can see, we do get gold bully, man. This build is really, really strong, man. That's crazy that we can get that much strength on this build. And, hey, I like making crazy builds, so that's what you have. For the vert, now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I took the vert to an 85 to get those small contact dunks. Uh, you can take it to an 82 and be just fine, but I took it to an 85, and we'll put the rest on stamina. Now let's get it to these takeovers. So, we have finishing, sharpshooting, playmaking, and big lock, man. You can choose what you want to choose. That's totally up to you. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we do have shades of... We got uh, World Be Free. Lonzo Ball, he haven't played all year, so I don't know why they keep putting him on there. And Tyrese Halliburton, we have a diamond inside-out score. That's the bill. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here, man. Charge!